Hey, thanks for making it to Veterans Info Tap. I'm glad you made it. Look, VA has a 72 hour rule. Are you aware of it? Well, guess what? If you miss this 72 hour window, guess what? You could be on the hook for tens of thousands of dollars according to the VA. So let's dive into it. I'm gonna explain this 72 hour rule to you. Many people aren't aware of it and uh, wanna make sure that you don't learn the hard way. So hit the thumbs up, subscribe, share with a friend, all that good stuff. I really appreciate it. It helps out the channel and it really helps out those in the need, right, for this information. Those that need this information uh, rely on us hitting that thumbs up. So I really appreciate it. If you're not a member, consider joining. Uh, it does help the channel and helps me to find you in the comments. All right, jumping into it here, I'm gonna, <clears throat> I'll give you my two cents on it, kind of give you the, the high level overview, then I'm gonna dive into it a little bit. So. You're a veteran, you are connected with the VA for whatever, multiple disabilities, and you have VA as your healthcare provider. And let's just pretend for a moment that that is your only source of healthcare. Now, you have some sort of uh, need for emergency care, whether you were sitting at home and uh, you're having major chest pains or you got in a car accident and off you go in the ambulance and you start receiving this emergency care. Well. Let's now think for a minute. Well, hopefully, right, the VA is going to cover that. <clears throat> now, I've already done some videos on the fact that they want to take away uh, the majority of the payment they're willing to pay for ambulance uh, service. So that's a whole other issue. But moving on here, I'm going to read to you <clears throat> directly from the VA's website so you understand uh, how important this 72 hours is. So from the moment that you start receiving your emergency care, the clock starts ticking. And if you do not notify the VA, well, if you don't do it within 72 hours, you could be liable for the entire cost of that uh, emergency care, which is not cheap, believe me. I was hit on a motorcycle on the freeway, which is no fun, by the way, and um, got taken to the, the emergency room and blah, blah. And, Thankfully, I contacted the VA within the 72 hour period. So here's the, I'm gonna give you this first blurb, then I'm gonna read uh, basically the whole page. So notifying VA of an emergency event, okay? Notifying VA of an emergency event allows covered veterans to have their emergency treatment authorized by VA. Okay, that sounds simple enough, but don't stop reading because this is where they can get you. Failure to report emergency care to VA within 72 hours of the start of the emergency treatment may impact your eligibility for VA to cover the cost of treatment. However, even if the notification to VA did not occur timely, the emergency treatment may still be eligible for VA reimbursement. Let's say you were in a coma or something, right? Uh, you can't really contact uh, the VA and let them know if you were in a coma for two weeks, right? So, um, <clears throat> or if you were just in a critical situation. So, but if you're not, you better make sure that you're notifying VA within 72 hours. Now, in some cases, for emergency care, you could be in the hospital for a couple of days. Uh, so you want to make sure that you do that. So let's, uh, let me read, um, I'm going to start from the top here and just go through it. It's fairly short. So uh, this is under the community care uh, web page in the VA's uh, website, emergency medical care. So during a medical emergency, you should immediately seek care at the nearest emergency department. A medical emergency is an injury, illness, or symptoms so severe that a delay in seeking immediate medical attention would reasonably uh, would be reasonably expected to be hazard, hazardous to life or health. If you believe your life or health uh, is in danger, call 911 or go to the uh, nearest emergency department right away. During a medical emergency, VA encourages all veterans to seek immediate medical attention without delay. 
Then there's a notation. An emergency department is a facility that is staffed with equipment to provide emergency treatment that does not include community facilities, which is which only provide medical treatment in situations other than emergencies. Attention veterans, there's a big asterisk, and it says here, if you are having um, uh, this, so this is the suicide crisis information. So uh, suicide crisis, call 911 or go to the nearest emergency uh, department. <clears throat> so moving on, emergency care benefit, VA will provide, pay for, or reimburse emergency care and related uh, and related following on care for certain veterans including ambulance transportation costs which remember that there is another VA rule that is looking to drastically cut the amount that the VA is willing to pay for ambulance service uh, which could have some major impacts but that was another video so including ambulance transportation costs, prescriptions, inpatient or residential care for up to 30 days and outpatient care for up to 90 days. If you are covered, or you are covered if you served prior to September 7th, 1980 and received a military discharge under a condition that is not dishonorable or resulted, uh, or the result of a general court martial. Uh, next bullet here is, if you enlisted after September 7th, 1980 or entered active duty after October 16th, 81 and received a military discharge under a condition that is not dishonorable or the result of a general court martial after serving 24 continuous months of or the full period for which you were called to active duty, you are eligible unless you were discharged for a disability that was caused by or made worse by your active duty service. Uh, or you were discharged uh, for a hardship or early out, which is interesting. Um, not quite. Uh, I Seems to me that if you were discharged for a disability that was caused uh, or made worse by your active duty service, then you would get, uh, you would then turn around and file a claim with the VA and then be service connected. So if you received the, uh, if you received an, an other than dishonorable, let me restart that. If you received an other than dishonorable, man, I can't say it. One more time. If you received an other than honorable discharge, uh, you are eligible for this benefit if you served 100 cumulative days in a combat zone or support of a contingency operation either directly or by operating an unmanned uh, aerial vehicle for another location. You or... There's another asterisk or bullet here. You were the victim of a physical assault of a sexual nature, a battery of a sexual nature, or sexual harassment while serving in the armed forces. The final element to unlock this benefit must be performed by a trained crisis responder or healthcare provider. Both your military service and a clinical diagnosis are the key to this benefit. So moving on, notify VA immediately, inform the emergency care provider to report your emergency treatment to the VA Centralized Emergency Care Reporting Center as soon as possible after the treatment starts by using VA Emergency Care Reporting Portal or calling VA 72-hour hotline uh, notification hotline. Now, here's what I would do. I would take my VA card and I would put a little sticky note on it and I would write this phone number down on the back of it. And I would say call um, for, uh, for emergency um, treatment authorization or what have you. So VA 72 hour notification hotline is 844-724-7842. Again, 844-724-7842. Uh, and that is the 72-hour hotline. So you or the medical provider needs to call that phone number within 72 hours. Uh, there's also a link to the uh, emergency care reporting portal um, as well. I'm not sure. Let me see here. Open in a new window. And it, uh, okay, so I don't know. Reporting as, there's an email uh, you, you put in an email address and then you're reporting as uh, a provider, a VA medical center, 
the veteran or a veteran's representative. So you, it looks like you could just plug that information in and keep rolling along with it. Um, moving on, uh, you, you or someone acting on your behalf can also report the, uh, the emergency treatment to VA. VA should only be notified once. Uh, and ideally, that notification is uh, the community uh, emergency facility where the treatment is being conducted. If you have an urgent or emergent need to coordinate care or transfer to VA Medical Center, contact the nearest uh, VA Medical Center immediately. Notifying VA, again, of an emergency event allows covered veterans to have their emergency treatment authorized by VA. Failure to report emergency care to VA within 72 hours of the start of the emergency treatment may impact your eligibility for VA to cover the cost of treatment. So with that, thank you guys so much for watching. I appreciate you. Have a great one. And remember, if we don't take care of each other, something went wrong.